Hi, welcome. Uh, let's install Adaclux B LXQT. So the version of 24 is in here. Might be another month, doesn't really matter. We boot up <coughs> with either a BIOS or a UFI, depending on the hardware you have. So you can choose other lines if the first line doesn't work for you. You can even edit these lines and figure out what you need to type behind it to boot and to be able to install. UFI guys, you go up there, first line says Article Linux, that's what you need. And then we all boot up. We'll boot up into, into our own desktop environment. So that's new. And we have a very lengthy uh, Calamaris installer where you get all the freedom to install whatever you like. And what's is an Arachnix B? Well, it's actually one that you should build yourself. That's why the B. And um, you decide whether we, whether you want to have Quantum Manager on there and not. That that's a variety or not. It's just um, deleting a line in a file. Anybody can do that and run a script. And you have an ISO with a particular uh, application on it or without that particular application. So this is what we think should be our minimal Adaclux B. In the meantime, I've shown you as well here, install Arclinux. That's this run Calamaris thing, install Arclinux is here. So if you have closed this and are looking around and taking a look at LXQT, that's this one, then, or cute, LXQT is also a good name. <clears throat> then um, you'll find your way around again to install Arclinux and also get uh, other elements of our system here, the fast track, hello, and so on. And then we decide at some point, okay, let's install it. But first, take a look at the partitions. If there are lots of complex partitions, maybe you could consider to just erase everything and give Calamaris 100% chance to complete its job. It's, it's there for 15 minutes and then it's gone, right? Then you are in Arc Linux. This is version 3.2.20 and as such I'm going to show you an image that might pop up. It says boost python error in job umount. It sometimes pops up but not all the times and um, it's an uh, annoyance, it's an annoying. Um, just click it away and reboot because everything is installed. That's basically what happens at the very very end. He wants to unmount what he just did and um, just click it away. Let's go for a next, choose all these options. I have explained in other videos what all these options are and all the applications are. Um, be aware that some of these things clash. That's a new icon there. That is for your, um, to remember what it is. It's gone, there he is. <laughs> there you are. So that particular um, summary says, okay, you, are going to create conflicts if you select these two. It's either this one or that one, either this one or that one. So you'll come across these things in Calamaris. Select whatever you want. I'm just going to open it, click it open, and then you decide what to want, what you want to install and all that. All right. The list is longer than the window is high. all possibilities for you to install. Some of them are big. These last four guys together are two gigabytes. So it all depends, but if you want them, you'll do it. Take a look at all the possibilities in here. Lots of things that were not uh, possible in the past that are now possible. And one for us. So if we want to install, uh, for the developers and the beta testers, this is what we use to have everything available to work. Choose your time zone, choose your keyboard, and then we are in the part where we say one of these three are as well encrypt or not encrypt. So we have six options, encrypt, not encrypt, and three of those plus one manual. And this can be anything. Uh, check out articlins.com. There's an article, everything you need to know about Calamaris. That's manual partitioning. But we stick to, well, I stick to 
uh, erase disk no swap that's fine for me and everything is in the cloud all right so that's it choices choices you see what you like best what you want to install here as choice and then it's up to the system it's gonna install all the packages that you see here right everything that's in here is always installed that's by default but all the rest you select there you need the internet i have internet there's a red icon that says i have 58 available updates well if you get that message you have internet so basically um if internet is not there it will show up anyway you'll, you'll see it in the welcome app but um you can select everything but it will not install so calamares will just skip all of that and install lxqt in this case uh, all the same so we'll have an operating system afterwards if you select a lot of packages it might hold at 80 percent for i don't know minutes and uh, this means it's installing things well at first downloading things right lots if you select lots of software and you have a slow internet well there you go then you have to wait a little bit longer than another guy with a fast internet and a fast computer that's basically all that's happening around 80 percent and then you just sit it out wait for it it will end at some point in time and then you reboot all right pausing the video and in this video we have uh, again the possibility to show you guys this is harmless means nothing it just means that uh, the hard disk that it tries to unmount died with signals blah 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 trace back lots of gibberish message if you see you mount just restart everything is just fine I have heard already that this is solved in the next Calamares. And we boot up in existing OS. And you can enjoy LXQT. Cute LXQT, I have to remember, I have to change the name there. And there we go, we have auto starts. We check out any possible links and maybe join us on Discord. Discord is the one that's going to be solely about that links. Telegram is you can chat about anything there. This is our tweet tool and that's our message conflicts info. Always interesting to have around to remember. So we're on Alex B LXQT. First thing you do is probably update, scale and an uphold. And at some point in time, and here I am afraid we are lacking in some um, software, in some articles. But normally I would send you to article Linux dot uh, d.com and due to all kinds of things we have no LXQt articles or <laughs> only the installation so it is a rather straightforward uh, application I desktop um, you can have lots of things to change here specific applications so cute applications are in there but here are your LXQt configuration center so all of these guys are in here so it has a specific its own configuration center there and i'm afraid you'll have to figure this one out on your own all right cheers